Hello and welcome to another stream. My name is Ray and ah, the last two streams were very very bad. I hope that I can finally come back and go to the A rank again. Uh, I already changed my my title here, uh, not my title, but my advertisement on the Discord servers and my uh, countdown screen to B rank. Pretty, pretty sad, but I don't want to lie. Um, one second. Okay. So we are in StarCraft here. And let's check the ladder rating. It will show up any second. There we go. Nah, come on. <laughs> okay, well, actually, I gained MMR yesterday. It felt super bad, but I actually gained MMR. So I guess it was not too bad. That's pretty crazy. The stream is a bit earlier than usual. Uh, I see there's one viewer already on the stream. Uh, welcome, thanks for watching. So, who are you? I want to I want to know who it is that early. Who's here that early? Uh, where is it? There we go. Oh, lampshade. Hi. <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure. Sometimes when I'm streaming at other times, so not late in the evening for Europeans, then like totally different people show up, you know? <laughs> it's it's quite fun sometimes. For example, uh, when I'm streaming at, let's say, 8 CET, uh, 8 p.m. CET, there are no Koreans, for example, okay? Because it's like 4 a.m. for them. They're not not just not there, and when I, when I'm streaming in the afternoon, there will be no Americans because it's early in the morning for them. So yeah, it's it's interesting sometimes. So yeah, I actually gained MMR yesterday somehow. I don't know why, but I gained like twenty MMR. But the games felt so bad. Wow. All the Terran games. I always wanted to do the score of the thing and they all go like two base speed vulture drops and everything. It's crazy. It was really crazy. Hi, it's Sparks. Welcome. Uh, it's Sparks. You are Australian, right? Are you Australian? Can you tell me? Or you're in, in somewhere in Asia, in the Asian time zone, at least, right? Hi, Dentark. Yeah, in Asia, okay. Uh, my sound is not on my headphones. There we go, okay. Fixed it. So what do we have here? We have a Protoss, an A-Rank Protoss, okay? Yeah, hard opponent. First game of the day. And <laughs> not enough minerals. <laughs> I, I should... Should I uh, get a like, text-to-speech functionality on my stream? So people can like share bits or so to get some some speech in the stream? I'm not sure if I should do that, it's risky. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I guess there is. Asking for trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, anyone who would abuse it to do some offensive stuff would obviously get banned. Hmm. <sighs> 
Oh, there he was. Okay, all pretty normal. My life for I was constructed additional pylons. You must construct additional pylons. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Wait, where's the second pylon? Ah, it's, it's up there. Up there. Okay. You've not enough minerals. I have returned. We do not forget. Yes. Who remembers the myth shot last time? Who remembers it, guys? The 0.4% chance to miss a shot as the last shot on the scouting probe. He's very active, that's very good of him. No! Oh, what? What is that one goon doing? Oh my god. What was that? So in the end he got a slightly better, uh, in the beginning he got a slightly better trade, but then I came back in the trading. 
and got the better end of it. So I would say it's about even so far. Oh, there's a observer. Got it. Okay, let's see if we can find something from his side. Ah, uh, Jack's goons. Ah, uh, doesn't really tell us anything. Okay, just took his expansion as well, so it's about even. Where are his units? My life for 
Come on, speed, finish.
make use of me to create the stock additional items. Easy game. Easy game. No problem. High A rank, what's that? S rank is the only goal we have. This was not even close. What do you mean still not A rank? Uh, two streams ago I lost like over 100 points. That's why I'm not A rank now. Hi guys. Hi everyone who tuned in now. Scout for 6 o'clock. Yeah. What's your worst matchup now? Hmm. Oh, it's Ash Squall in his placement matches. Yeah, sure. <sighs> why? Why am I always facing uh, facing those good players on low rank or placement accounts? Yes, it's a Spanish Squall. Not 
Oh, it's fighting spirit. <laughs> I have no idea about football. <laughs> I don't know, don't know any football player with that name. You have not enough minerals. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh, he's not attacking the gateway. That's unusual. A good Zerg would always attack the the gateway here because he can see the pile, uh, the cannon was not even started. So he has a long time to attack and maybe slip in if I move the zealots out of position. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now he's doing it. But now it's a bit too late. He he kind of missed his ch chance there. Thank you. 
Ah, I just lost it. Oh, he's attacking his hedge. <laughs> I hope he kills it. <laughs> Okay, let, uh, my upgrade's complete. Let's reroll my gateways. Still 
Can my goons get out? Oh no, they cannot. I have no observers. Let us attack. Ready for battle. You require more Vespine gas. You require more Vespine gas. You require more Vespine gas. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Pylons. Oh, I need way more gateways. Way more gateways. Not 
My hotkeys are fucked up right now. Fuck, my micro is too bad.
Yeah, fuck. I'm just not macroing good enough. Well enough, I should say. Look, my overmints.
Man, man, those games against those good players. <sighs> Look at the resources. <laughs> I guess my my storms were just good enough. Yeah, this shows that some Zergs they they really mastered this opening, this this uh, opening into mid game into six edge hydros taking fourth base. They really mastered that. They are really good at that. But they don't really transition to the late game. If they don't really kill the Protoss or suffocate them on three bases, at some point the tides turn, and he's still on Hydra. Some lurkers. And I have a nice upgraded army, I have a lot of Templars because I have 4 gases, and I just come back. Some Zergs are just not transitioning into late game, and that's what win me the games. Uh, okay, let me first end this here, Let's see the points and so on. Ah, man, he's an S rank player, you know? and. Oh, I, I don't think he's S, he's A rank, but I only get 6 points because he was still in placement matches. It's, it's sad. Okay, so there were some questions. Uh, how do you deal with Swarm Lurklings? Uh, I think at that point, when the Zerg has Swarm, so Hive Tech in general, uh, you need Reavers in my opinion. I think you need uh, Reavers. Uh, Justin, he's in his placement matches, that's why. I know he's quite far higher, but he just started playing this season. So that's why his account is still lower, but his skill is actually a lot higher. He's at least A rank, if not S rank. L let me see if I can actually find another. Maybe he, he played on another account already. Squall. Uh no, that's definitely not him. Ah, no, that's not him. That's not him. Um, uh, one uh, L. Wait, what is this account that he just played with me? What? What's that account? He had an, a, a one in there, right? Yeah, I, I, you can see I, I'm 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 putting Ash SQ in there, and it's not finding anything. Oh, is, was it not a dot? Was it a? 
a dash. Wow, what? I, I will just check, guys. I will just check. Did he just delete his account? Wait, that that would make sense. He just started his placement matches and he just lost the game. So maybe he just reset the account. Maybe that's actually true. So let me check. Yeah, see, it's not finding the account anymore. So either this is a bug on Bnet or he just deleted his account after that loss. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he probably resets the account until he has like five wins in the placer matches. Whew. Ah, you mean uh, they don't show up if they don't have five matches yet? Ah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, okay, I, I understand. Um. Uh, what's your favorite match versus you mean uh, match up versus what race? Or okay, what race? Um, I can't really answer that to be honest right now. I don't have a favorite matchup It was PVT for a very long time and I guess it still is but it's very close like I, I I can't really say with full confidence that PVT is still my favorite matchup. Can you show how to spam probes towards west? <laughs> what? Probe through towards west. Uh, what do you mean towards west? I, 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 d I don't understand what you mean. How to spam probes through minerals? That's what you want to see? You mean like uh, taking three probes or so? What, if the minerals are to the left of the probes? To the left of the probes? Hmm. N not, not sure what you want to see, to be honest. You mean just like... Uh, so I just open some random map where the minerals are on the left and then I drill probes through. Okay, I, I will do it very quickly. So let's hope we have 50-50 chance, uh, chance to uh, spawn on the left. But what's the point of this? Okay, so you take the probes. You click them on the mineral. Uh, how many should I drill through? One or more? One or more? Just one? One is enough? I will just show both anyways. So I click them on the thing. I select one. I press S. I glitch through. That's it. And if I want to do it with more, I don't select one. I just like click them on the mineral block and then I press S and yeah okay this time only one gets through sometimes two sometimes three so it's all so you click them here you press S and okay only one again ah come on and only one again so it's only always one it looks like Hmm. For, so far only one all, all the time it could be related to the minerals that they have minerals well, let me oh, oh 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 yeah here see it was the minerals it looks like so here I got three through Let's try it again. 
So you just press S and then you spam click. Sometimes it helps to uh, spam S a few more times even. Yeah, and here it gets two. So, okay. Uh, now an eclipse. Okay, eclipse. There's no... Like, no code in StarCraft that makes it more difficult on other maps, I think. Let me see. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Let me just try. Eclipse. So, on the bottom left side again, yeah? It just seems more difficult. Okay, let, let's see. Let's see. No. Come on. Okay. So, you mean about this uh, cannon, uh, cannon rush placement, I, I assume? So, you go. It's basically the same mineral formation. And you, yeah, two through. It's exactly the same mineral formation. You have one, uh, two blocks uh, more to the right and one block to the left. It, it's exactly the same as Fighting Spirit. I can show you again. You go here, you press S, you spam click through. And there we go. And one more time, we go in there, we click S, we go through. Okay, one time didn't work. And we got two through this time. So it looks the same, to be honest. I don't think it's more difficult. One more time from this place. Yeah, three. S instantly three through to that cannon placement. So it's not the more difficult. It's exactly the same in my opinion. Okay, is that everything? I don't think pylons affected. The, the only thing you... Maybe you make the mistake that you click the pylons. You should not click the pylons, I think. I think if you click the pylons, the probes are on attack move and then they behave maybe differently compared to a move command. Well, let, let me see, let me see. I will mine at 150, place two pylons. Okay. So one pylon goes here and one pylon goes here, right? Like this. Okay, so now I will uh, do it again, okay? So I go here, I press S and I slide through. Easy, three probes. So... I don't think there's any added difficulty to it. It's, it seems exactly the same. Let me put one again. Oh, you want... Like this? So, like here one? And one here? Okay, wait, let me see. Need to mine some additional minerals. <laughs> so we can place this one already, right? And then we place one here. And then we try to drill. Okay, so let's see. So I have my three probes here. I will now place a pylon to block. And now we go. Okay, and... Yeah. 
So I got to the pylon. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm inside. Another attempt. I know I have no emeralds. But it, it looks like... I don't know. I don't know if it's more difficult if there's a pylon. One more time. Ah, what's this probe doing? <laughs> Wrong way. Ah, come on. And I'm inside. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's slightly more difficult if the pylon's here. Maybe, yeah. But but it's de definitely possible. It, it, and if you cancel it and your phone prop here, you can just immediately uh, block it, I guess. Or you kill the probe if you have uh, more than one there. You can do, go, do, uh, do it on every mineral line. It, it doesn't matter. Um, so I, I will show you one more thing, okay? One more thing I show you. Mm. Do we have some fast? It's ma no, that's not the right. Uh, let's see. Ah, so you mean like this, right? <laughs> Hi, Dark Swarm, thank you. If there's no free space at all, then it's more difficult, I think, yeah. Okay, so you want to see with the straight mineral line? So in this case, you can't just click one mineral block and all the probes go into one place. You have to, for example, you click uh, this one. Uh, I will explain it beforehand. You click some random mineral block. They all stack to the mineral line, right? They all, they all stack on the on the x axis. Okay, on the x uh, axis, they all are in the same spot. Okay, and then you need to click in a mineral block up here, so the bottom ones that are here go up to this one, and like all the probes go up to this one. So I click this one to get them all in this line, basically. And then I will click like this one, for example. So they will all go from this line. They all go up here to this spot. And then they are on one space again. So here I, I go this. Okay, one probe manages to go around. So I click this, let's say, and then I click this. Yeah, they're not perfect, but if you like click back and forth a bit, you can see they are pretty much on the same spot. And then you just do the same and you go through the minerals. Okay, so I, I, I cannot test every single map and every single situation now. <laughs> um, but are there any really important ones you still want to see? Silphid has a spawn location where you can only hit with one probe. What do you mean only hit? What, what, are, what are you hitting? Uh, I mean, pylons covers all space and the yeah. So uh, GBL CA8 Twitch Brute War. Uh, if there's really no free space, I think it's more difficult. Yeah. It, it's not about hitting. It's about blocking the cannon, right? It's not about hitting the cannon. If he gets the cannon building already, then it's probably too late. You should kill the probe or the or block the cannon. 
and I don't know if you if you block them in, into two pylons and you drill through, you can just uh, kill the you can click the right click the probe, and then you drill another one and then you kill the probe. You can't really block if he blocks with his own pylon and cancels. Yeah, but you can kill the probe, you know? I, I mean, I just showed you, you can drill through even if he has a pylon blocking. So you you drill through and you just right click the probe, that's it. And just to be extra safe in case he is attacking, like he's right clicking your probe that is drilling through, first you just drill another one through. Most of the time, I don't think the the opponent will uh, right-click your probe immediately. And even if he does, you drill another one through. So you should just uh, drill uh, another one, a second probe through, if you see that he is actually right-clicking your probe. I mean, it shouldn't be hard to see which probe is winning, right? When you glitch one through and you start attacking, you should see which one is winning. And if you're losing, you uh, drill another one through. And that will kill the probe. And you do that as soon as he places the pylons, the, the initial pylons. So you have the whole pylon build time to do that. And the, the whole pylon build time is, or should usually be enough to uh, drill through two probes, if you need them. Sometimes one is enough, sometimes you need two, but uh, so the whole pylon build time should be enough to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, what uh, GBL CA8 Twitch B uh, Brood War is saying. Uh, start drilling as soon as you see he places a pylon. Okay. Um, so I think with that... We have seen enough, right? Oh, sorry. So I go for the next game. Nice PC bot. Why are you sad? <laughs> B rank. <laughs> yeah, man. I lost 100 points two streams ago. On Monday or so, when it was, or Tuesday. It was a bad mistake to stream during the week. Good morning, how's the ladders treating you today? Oh good, I'm beating higher A ranks all the time. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I think I have won every game, right? And I, I also won a lot of points, so I think it's good. I defeated Ash Squall. I defeated a uh, 2.150 Protoss pretty easily, I have to say. So overall, it's been going very well. I won like 40 points today. And I'm streaming for 1 hour 18 minutes. I'm definitely playing better against better players as well. I do so stupid mistakes against lower ranked players. And when I'm playing an S, -ray, uh, S rank player, or another very high ranked player, I'm usually playing a lot better. I don't know. Oh, Justin, you're 2.1k? What's your AKA? Maybe we have met in ladder before? My life 
Oh shit, hier ist Gas. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, the question is, is he still making circlings on or not? That's the main question here. Is he still making circlings? You want to check the eggs. Okay, he's still making circlings. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, I just lost that. Yep, that's it, probably. Why is this space so big here? Oh my god. Yeah. Game is over. Ah oh man, I should have pulled more probes earlier. God damn it. But why do you need like five five units to block this, man? Ah Ah, uh, yeah, I should have just pulled more probes. Oh well. I don't know what rank he was. I didn't check. But I mean, does it really matter with that strategy? I mean, even a 1.2 player can pull it out, right? With just a fast speed all in. Doesn't matter what what MMR you you ha uh, he has, that can happen to against every player. Doesn't matter. He could have one K. He could have one point five K. He could have two uh, K or two point three K. It it completely doesn't matter. It's the same game. Uh, I don't play much. My maximum was like two K with twenty games. Lol, when did you say you are 2.1k? Ah, okay. Okay. Oh my god, what is wrong with those players, man? He is 2.3k. Why does he have a low rank account? I don't get it. He is 2.3k. I don't get why he's... Oh, he's doing the same? Oh, man. Wow. Okay, at least he's fair about it.
but I, I really don't understand why so many good players have low rank accounts to play ladder. <sighs> But at least, like, he's fair and he's uh, recognizing that if someone thinks it's not the morally best thing to do, he leaves the game. So that's fair. Good manner. Good manner by SPX. Is he actually streaming, by the way? Is is SPX streaming in general? I should check that. Oh, we get another game. We got another game. Oh, we get another game. We got another game. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I I did not understand where that echo ca came from. <laughs> so the thing I just did in the background was um, I checked uh, the Twitch page for StarCraft. I want to see if SPX is streaming and somehow, for some reason, he played back my stream before I even clicked any stream. Is that a new feature on Twitch that it just randomly select one stream to play when you go to the to all the streams of Starcraft that's weird okay anyways we have a Terran no I did not open my own stream I just opened the a twitch page for Starcraft for all the Starcraft streams what what did you say you from man Germany you Oh, I have no pylon, guys. No pylon. Pylon this gaming. Russia. Okay. Yeah, Twitch must random randomly play some stream if you go to the page of a game. Must be a new feature. Never, never saw that before. Or maybe did they implement a feature where you can mouse hover over a stream, like one of the like preview thumbnails, and it plays back the stream live? Is that the feature on Twitch? Maybe they added that. Either way, it's, it's, it was definitely a new feature. I've never had that happen before. I left the gap here. That is very bad. This gap. Wasted space. Yeah, okay, I'm, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit. It's not super bad, but it's wasted space. You cannot use this space anymore. And now I have less space on the right side to place gateways later on. I, so I have to be more careful not to block my my gateways. Oh, he he is he's not making another marine. Okay, then I can stay inside the space. Okay, now I leave. Like. Oh, 
So by the way, in case anyone is wondering, I'm I'm adding I added a second goon that I usually don't do because he's low ranked and the percentage or the odds of a like all in are higher. So I added a second goon beforehand to be safe. So this doesn't mean that it's, it's an expansion. You always have to check the expansion itself, okay guys? Remember that. So you see what I'm doing now? Okay, see, I checked, I checked the CC. I, I made sure that he's actually expanding. You always want to do that. Otherwise he can like two factories you and you don't, won't realize. Oh, this gate replacement is not good. Oh, look, look at him. How can you be so... Ah, I, I, this is so crazy. He's just expanding when I have goons right next to it and he has no more units. Man, how can you be so... I, I don't know what the English word for that is, but... That's crazy. 
Someone tell me what that word is. There's, that's something when you... When you want to say that someone is doing something and it only works because he thinks the other guy is stupid. So he thinks I'm stupid and that's why he's doing that. What's the word for that? Does that word exist in English? I'm not sure. Look at him, he's expanding with two tanks. I can't believe it. Look what he's doing. Oh, I did not get it. Oh. Maybe I should actually play normally now. <laughs> I'm wasting so many units just attacking into him the whole time. Oh, this is a bad gate. This is a bad gate. Oh, 
My speed is not done.
Fight for all. All air require will just be gas. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Fight for all. He saw I long for combat. Construct additional pylons. You must construct additional pylons. My life, Let's finish this, guys. Let's go. Let's go. So what do we have here in the chat here? A lot of a lot of messages. Wait, what are you doing guys? What are you like insulting here in the chat? Ah, that was because I asked for the word. No, 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 no. It, it's not uh, offensive, the word I mean. it's uh, The word I mean is not offensive. It's it's like having balls, but in a more negative tone. Like, yeah, I don't know. For example, so I, I will tell you a uh, situation, okay? So you want to steal from a store, okay? You want to steal from a store. And some some thieves they go really like creative, they hide something in their clothes and everything. But then there are some people who just have the thing they want to steal in their hand and they just march through the door, everyone can see it, and it just works because nobody thinks that he's actually stealing. You know? He's he's just the thing he's stealing, he's showing it to everyone and he's just marching out of the door. And nobody's realizing he's actually stealing because why would he do that? Like, you know? Why would be he, why would he be so obvious? So uh, wait, let, let let me actually use the translator here. May, maybe there is no word like that in English. Uh bold, bold could be the word. Uh 
cheeky i'm not sure if that's correct but i will just throw some words here that i see in this translation thing uh, audacious perky cheeky bold brazen brash presumptuous impudent i think it's more yeah bold i think is a good word but bold in my opinion is not negative but in the german word is has a little bit of a negative tone yeah bold is positive but but in in germany we have a word uh, and it's like it has a little bit of a negative connotation like that you're shocked that he's really doing it like it's so obvious it's so it can so easily be defeated like his his uh, his third base i can just move my army there and kill it but he's still doing it yes it's bold but it's also kind of stupid so but he when he's just hoping that i didn't that i don't see it he's just hoping that i don't see it you know i i just i just think there's no word like that in english that's it uh, okay, so <laughs> I thought you guys were flaming because all of your words are super negative, <laughs> like r straight up insulting. <laughs> I, I I was like, what's going on in the chat? <laughs> body lock, body lock. Yeah, yeah, the mods. That's actually not my mod, that's uh, the, well, it's a Twitch automatic mod. I guess it's enabled on my Twitch, but it's like, it's not something that I set up intentionally. It's just a Twitch auto mod. Uh, <laughs> what you said was a bit too offensive. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and then I want to talk about the big sentences that GBL CA8 Twitch Brute War is saying. Well, it's kind of interesting how Ray is playing really slowly and steadily compared to other players like Oya who is crazy multitasking micro and still can win. So maybe to learn from Ray is better than to learn from others. Yes, I definitely think so. I definitely think so that it's better to learn from me compared to some other uh, good players because most good players just spam APM. Yes, don't get offended. Don't get offended. Yes, Oya is better at multitasking because he has higher APM. Yes, but he's still spamming a lot. Every good player is spamming a lot. Um, the thing is, what I'm doing, what I'm doing with my low APM. Other players, when they would exactly do the same without any multitasking, so exactly what I'm doing, they still would have 200, over 200 APM, and I have 130, you know? So they are definitely spamming a lot, and I think that that takes a lot away from actually when you're actually trying to learn from such a player. Um... Okay. Uh, you can't relax with 150 APM and macro as late game Zerg. Yeah, late game Zerg, I think you need a slightly higher, I agree. But but really only like late game when you have like 12 hatcheries or so. Um, well, I guess most of you guys know I have this APM challenge video, right? Where I reach 1.5k with 75 APM. And yes, it is coming for the other races. It it will come at some point. So whenever you want to argue that, yeah, you you need like 200 APM to play Zurich at uh, C rank level. Just wait for my video, okay? While yes, again, I, I will repeat it. So it's completely clear for everyone. Yes. You need higher APM for Zerg. Yes. 
but you don't need such high APM that most people pretend you need. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Many people say, oh, you, re you need like at least 200 APM to reach B rank as Zerg. No, just no. Yes, you need more uh, compared to Protoss, but no, you don't need 200. Okay, so that's all I'm saying. Um, the, the what most of the people think in the StarCraft scene, like most lower rank players, they think you need actually way higher APM than what you actually need. And again, I repeat, yes, you need more as Zerg and you also need slightly more as Terran, yes. Um, but it's nowhere as high as what most lower rank players think. But the, the thing is, this, this uh, wrong perception uh, is established in the scene because most good players spam a lot of APM. And there is a reason for that. I'm not hating on players who have high APM. Don't get me wrong here. I'm, I'm not hating on anyone. Everyone can uh, spam his APM as high as he wants. It's totally fine. But the thing is, um, a good player, when good players are playing, they have like 300 APM, okay? And uh, lower rank players who don't really understand the, like what you need to be a good player and they don't understand what the good players are doing as much, they think, ah, okay, they just see that good player with 300 APM, okay? And they think, okay, you need 300 APM to be that good. But that's the wrong conclusion. The thing is, the good players, they are spamming so much APM because they want to like keep your ha their hands warm and to to make it easier for them to go, to, well, to stay that high in APM when they actually need it for three seconds. So in some very tight situations, sometimes, yes, you need over 200 APM. And to make it easier for them to 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 get that 200 APM when they actually need it, they just spam 200 APM the whole time. So that's the reason why most good players are spamming APM. And the thing is, that gets never explained. When, when a, a lower ranked player, so like a casual spectator, watches Atosis and at uh, uh, Tasteless, cast some ASL, they just see the APM, but nobody is explaining them why the APM is that high. So they just think, okay, the APM is that high because you actually, uh, you need 400 APM to be that good. That's not the case. Okay. Uh, let's enemy up. I uploaded a video like two months ago. The, uh, where I reach 1.5k with uh, 75 APM, like in on on average on on all games, I, even lower in some games. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, isn't SK Terran the highest APM requirement? Yeah, that could be. SK Terran is very. You need a lot of APM for that. Yes. So yeah, so I'm just really saying, yes, there are definitely things where you need higher APM. But most of the players are just spamming APM all the time when they don't need it. And that's that produces this wrong conclusion for some lower ranked players that you actually need that APM all the time, which is not true. Uh, what about their Reaver? <sighs> I'm not actually super sure because I, I'm not playing Re Reaver myself a lot so i i can't tell yeah for sure i i guess you need more compared to other playstyles but i'm not 100 percent sure because you're not yeah i don't know I, I i will not comment on that i i don't have the experience i don't want to say stuff that is, is maybe wrong because i don't have the experience for it uh terran require high, higher apm because vultures and marines Build very fast. Um, I want to know, mention um, Terrans need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more APM in TVZ when they're playing Bio compared to the other two matchups. Against Protoss and Terran, 
you don't need as many APM, but if you're playing Bio against the Zerg, yes, you do need a lot more. So in Terran, in one matchup you need high APM, in the other two you don't. Yeah, okay, guys, um, it is seven minutes before 6 p.m. And, well, the most loyal followers of mine uh, know that I'm doing my Korean learning stream at 6 p.m., so in seven minutes. So uh, I will turn off the stream here, and in five minutes or so I will turn it on again, and it will be my Korean learning project. So if you're interested in language learning, feel free to stay on the stream, feel free to uh, join me in learning Korean. You can see my progress, you can learn yourself, whatever you like. Maybe you just want to uh, yeah, watch me learn it, whatever. Um, so that will happen in five minutes and after that I will eat a bit and so on and there will be another Starcross stream Probably, I, I'm not super sure, but probably there will be another stream in the evening. So in around four hours, three to four hours, around that time. Um, yeah, if I'm not online uh, in four hours, then there will be no stream, but probably there will be. But in five minutes, it's Korean learning time. Okay. Mm. Uh, Justin, w one last comment. Justin, you have bad macro when your APM is slow. I had perfect macro in that video I uploaded with 75 APM. I, I still wanted to do uh, one video where I calculate really with the actual build times, with actual math, like, like actual facts, actual numbers. I want to calculate what APM you need for perfect macro. And it's definitely not over 100. Definitely not. I did, I did like pretty much perfect macro with 75 APM and I was still like controlling my units and so on. So macro itself, you don't need more than, uh, more than 80 or so. Okay, anyways, I will make that video at some point. So if, if you get offended by what I'm saying, you, you can wait for the video and then you can uh, argue that I'm wrong again. <laughs> okay, anyways, so Korean learning in four minutes. So yeah, bye bye to everyone who is not interested in that and be right back for anyone who is interested in that. So thanks for watching and bye bye.